Well, 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 what up world? Back with another one. And you know what? This one's gonna be real raw. I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling a type of way. I might have had a few little chates in this video. Um, I'll say that to say this. I went out last night. It was a wild night. It's a little bit dramatic. And uh, got super lit up. And now it's like it's hangover day. I don't know if you guys have those, but well, I think you do. If, if you've ever drank, you've had them. But for me, like hangover day is like, I nestle away, I chill, it's all good. But if yesterday was, if I'm feeling too rough from yesterday, you just have a little hair of the doggy and then you have some food. So that's where I'm at. I've had a couple of hair of the dogs. So cha cha cha, I'm feeling kind of nice, you know what I mean? But on top of that, it's like now it's time for me to grub down share it with you i'm sorry my mr mr microphone it's time for me to grub down with you guys and just on this video i just want to be completely like free-spirited and just you know what i mean just talk just be about some shit. i do want to say like a small story time but i also just want to like flex on tacos and then flex on talking so i'm doing that too much Let's get to the food and get to the chats and get to the mood. Mmm. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Looking very nice. Very fully fully loaded. Hey, look at that stack. It's like poker chips of tacos. Is this fruit fly really here? Alright, yo, this video is so different. This video hits different. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're gonna just sauce it hard, and then we're gonna talk about this story. It's elementary school uh, style story. And uh, it's from my era. And it definitely doesn't happen now because we've learned that it's not a good vibe. But those of you who uh, lived in my era And went to elementary and or public school will know of this. Just take that in for a little hot second. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. No. <laughs> Why does food taste so much better when you're under the influence to any degree? Wow. What the fuck? Okay, so... It's like this. I was grade seven. And those of you who grew up in this time, we know about fads and trends. So when you're in grade seven, eight, and this is completely connected with everybody, when you're in grade seven, eight, and whatever, you, you your your grade had this thing it's like it, it like it just whatever it's like youtube related or tamagotchi or uh for me it was called the pass out game i'll demonstrate after this bite you would get a friend to put you against a wall and press on your neck with two like this and essentially choke you out deprive you of oxygen and then you would pass out now i equate that to nowadays like the tide pods shit 
It's just that same dumb fucking thing. That happens within young people and they think it's like cool or whatever. And it's like life risking. So that was the thing. I watched this trend happening and I was on a level of like, what in the fucking world is actually occurring in front of my eyes? I want no parts of it. I never induced, I never received. I guess we were at an age where that was before drugs and alcohol. So it kind of provided a a rush, a sensation, a high, a whatever, you know, passing out. I have never fancied passing out. So, where the story gets to is this, if we're going to fast track it, is that, oh my God, look at that, that looks really nice. I'll say this, what I did notice, and I don't know why, but the girls, the dudes weren't into it. The girls loved it. And there was this one girl, Michelle. Who loved doing it. So there's this girl, Michelle. And she's like so deep in the game. She's getting choked out like every other day. Leading into a couple times a day. And uh, she's like addicted to it. She loves it. She's literally being like asking people to do it to her. She's like, she wants it. Like at lunch and recess, she's like, line me up. Line me up on the wall. Choke me out. And I'm just like, it's so comedic to think about. It's like scary, but comedic to think about. It's like just this girl and she's just getting choked out at all times and passing out being on the ground and then gets up and she like, gets a high from it so I'm just watching this go down so at that age 12, 13, whatever it was grade 7, grade, I don't know what that age is but Girls and boys play together. And when I say play together, I mean, uh, usually there's some sort of a like play fight, there's a physical banter. And it's for many reasons. There's two reasons. No, maybe three. There's, there's the, the reason why at that age. You play fight. Even as dudes. Just because you're becoming dudes. And it's inherent in our nature to like. You have to learn like battle skills. It's just it's from the past. As a human, you need you need to know how to engage in some battles. That's a good, healthy thing, I believe, um, because it's it's survival, it's survival related. And then on top of that, when you're in elementary, when you engage in it with women, it's because uh, like we're on the same playing field at that point. We're just kids. Like we're just 
And to be honest and to be fair, women or girls at that time have the advantage in a sense because, yes, as men or boys, we have the male, you know, energy and know-how and whatever, not even know-how, but, you know, the muscle and the that, but at that point, it's all relative. And even then, I would say this, women mature or girls mature faster, so usually the girls are actually bigger than the dudes at that point taller more matured and uh and when you're when you're kids that's 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 equal playing ground that's even field even keel so at that age it's like for you to go head to head with a girl It's kind of like it's standard and it's rite of passage and it's normal and it's accepted and it's not considered like getting arrested for domestic. You know what I mean? And we all know this. We've all grown up like you you haven't got to your age of where you are without going through school and being young. And because at that when you're kids, it's all even in essential in terms of gender. And that's an interesting thing to think about. But anyhow, so what happened with me was. In the schoolyard, recess or at, even you remember like hanging out after school, like you wouldn't leave the school ground because it's too fun. There's too many like friends there, and you wouldn't even go home. You just like you'd hang out and do weird shit for like a couple hours. So, where I'm from originally, where I grew up, I come from a very uh winter Canadian city town and as a kid honestly winter is so sick like we loved it like just playing on the on the hills and everything so this girl who's just been getting choked out the whole time has this weak ass neck response. Like she gets choked out easy now. And so we're just outside of school one day playing in the snow. And it's boys and girls, but she was kind of a tomboy, and you know, and um, she's getting right in there. So her and I get into like this battle of like just crazy, like almost like we were kind of playing like king of the hill, like fighting on the snow hill, right, like. We were in like a like a battle energy, and uh, during our battle, at a certain point, I put her in a headlock. And not even in an insane one where I'm like choking her out or anything, just a, like a light headlock. In the headlock. Because she's been passing herself out, she's trained to just like pass out. So she goes limp in my arms. I'm tripped. I'm losing it. I drop her. She's on the ground in the snow, passed out. I panic. I don't even know what to do. I'm like, did I just kill her? What the fuck?
all these ideas going through my head, like, Principal, principal's going to kill me. I'm going to be, like, expelled. Like, I'm going to be in so much trouble. There's people around, too. There's, like, my boys, like, friends and shit. I freak. I run. I just run the fuck away. I don't know how to handle it. I just, I just, I literally run. I leave her passed out. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, you're a fucking asshole. It's weird. Just consider the situation. It's a weird situation. And I was not like choking her out. It was because she was so geared towards getting choked out that me just basically even like lightly touching her neck she just because she's been doing it like every day trying to get this like high from that game that was invented at some point for it was stupid but she got like addicted to it so she got so sensitive in the neck that she would just pass out now Loki, and this is where it's kind of funny, and it's not funny, it's not funny, but it's like, it's kind of funny because she probably kind of enjoyed it, getting knocked out, because she had people literally opting to do it to her at lunchtime, but when it happened with me by accident, I freaked out, and I dipped, and I left, and then... I guess this is this is this is like a life point. It's like it's like a learning point, a lesson. When in life, something feels crazy, scary, terrible, and you think you're gonna get in shit for it, and if you run aw- and you know you're gonna get in shit for it, if you run away from it, most usually people are always gonna find out about it, and because you ran from it, it's gonna be times three worse just remember that so i come back to school and shit i'm i'm in way worse trouble because i ran because i left because i ran away from the trouble because i ran away from the accident 